welcome to tila's fashion if you're new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back don't forget to like this video share leave a comment down below on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i make fly zipper and i'll be doing this on this trouser pattern so i have my trouser pattern cut out on fabric and it is actually cut short because we'll be focusing more on that area you can see over there i have my zipper and i also have my flap and i cut two pieces of that just like the trouser pattern this trouser piece is limited to just the front piece but if you want to see a tutorial on how to draft an entire trouser i have a video up on my channel i'm just going to link it somewhere here so the crouch depth of this piece is about seven and a half inch and i'm just going to give it a little notch around 5.5 inch and this is going to serve as a guide as we sew on also this is my flap and it is nine inches long and two and a half inch wide and guys don't forget to interlock these pieces so your work can be a lot neater So below the notch we're going to join these two fabrics together and above the notch is where we're going to fix the zip all right guys so i'm just going to focus on the left piece now and we're going to start with that so the first thing i'm going to do is i am just going to fold a little piece about half an inch from the notch that we made earlier and I'm just going to give it a good press, iron it so it can lay flat. Now I'm just going to take one piece of the flap and you can see the position I'll be laying the flap on the flat side or the straight side. It's going to be facing the trouser and the curved side is going to be on the other side and i'm just going to place the left piece of the trouser on the flap like that now i'm going to place my zip in between these two fabrics and i'm going to sew on it And I'm just going to place it just like that, just at the side of the tooth of the zip. And I'm just going to so close to the tooth of the zip also. So you can use a pin to secure this so it doesn't move about. So after sewing, this is what I have. Guys, please make sure to sew on just one um, side of the zip so you can open this up like this. And we're going to attach the other piece of the trouser to the other side of the zip. And this is how the back looks like now. So now I'm going to take the right piece. And I'm going to also take the right piece of the flap also. And if you remember earlier, it was just the fabric that we, the trouser fabric that we notched. So over here, I'm also going to notch the flap just at that point where um, the, the trouser fabric was notched also. Because I want to sew this. I'm going to place both of them right side facing each other. And I'm going to sew up to that point where it is notched. And I'm going to turn it over and top stitch, iron it, and I'm just going to be right back after doing all of that. So this is what we have now and 
normally we are supposed to place it over it and so on all but we have to join the left and the right side of the lower flap together so i'm going to just turn this over and join just the trouser fabric that area from the area that we notch down to the crotch i'm just going to sew that crotch line now this is what i have after sewing the crotch line as you can see it's already forming really nicely And the upper part is still open so now we want to join the upper part so how we are going to do this is we are going to flip this over in a way that would expose the flap of the right piece i am just going to sew the zip only to the flap of the right piece so you want to attach the right piece of the fabric to the right side of the zip you open the right piece up to expose the flap and you sew the flap to the right side of the zip Okay, so this is what we have after sewing as you can see i excluded the left flap and so the only that the right piece of the flap to the right piece of the zip so that when you open it up you can actually open it up now we can go ahead and sew on this and give it that j shape that is usually on trousers and we're going to do this by attaching the fabric now to the flap earlier we attached the flap to the zip now we'll be attaching the flap to the main fabric so i'm just going to open that up and show you how i'm going to sew on it So after sewing this is what I have and I just went ahead to wipe away the chalk that I put on the fabric and you can go ahead now and attach the waistband of the trouser to the piece. For the waistband you want to make sure you don't go across the zip. So you are going to open it up and attach like the two sides of the waistband to the two sides of the zip. Now I'm just going to sew the waistband to the trouser, turn it over and top stitch it. Alright guys, this is the final look. You can go ahead to attach your button or hooks and that is all for this video thank you so much for watching till the end don't forget to hit that subscribe button like this video leave a comment down below share this video to anyone you think might need it thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye